located just 20 kilometers northeast of the city of Adelaide in South Australia, is the fastest growing new development in Australia. 1,000 new families move into Golden Grove each year, and by 1998, the development will be home to 30,000 people. Golden Grove is connected to the city of Adelaide by the Oban, Australia's only guided busway link. Golden Grove's garden villages enjoy an outstanding level of landscaping and presentation that prevails throughout the whole development. A diversity of housing types and sizes cater for a wide range of age groups to ensure an interesting and diverse community mix. The developers of Golden Grove, Delphin Property Group Limited and the South Australian Urban Land Trust recognised early in the planning of the development that a special focus was needed to provide a heart for the new community. Something often missing from new fringe developments to major cities. From this challenge, the vision was born. To provide an innovative and financially efficient education, cultural and recreation complex based on a philosophy of cooperation and sharing. Today, the initial idea is a reality. It is recognized as an outstanding example of what can be achieved when the developer and service providers work together to build communities and not just suburbs. How did an idea which seemed to face almost insurmountable hurdles come to fruition? Creating an education complex which involves three separate government and non-government schools for students aged 13 to 18, located around a core of shared facilities, required a number of key players. The Golden Grove developers, the State Government of South Australia, the State Education Department, City of Tea Tree Gully, the Catholic Education Office, the Anglican Church and the Uniting Church of Australia. The Golden Grove joint venture between the South Australian Urban Land Trust and Delphin Property Group has been a most exciting and highly successful project. In particular, the joint venture has been able to deliver a wide range of innovative and high quality community facilities when they are needed. The senior schools complex is a special highlight. It exemplifies the standards being set in the Golden Grove development. Delphin, the project managers of the Golden Grove development, undertook the role of coordinator and completed extensive research and negotiation to achieve agreement between the diverse groups. When I see the children and the students walking around here today and looking so comfortable together, one can only feel so immensely proud of what's been achieved. We set out to uh, achieve a highly efficient, and effective education system here at Golden Grove but really, we've achieved just so much more. The Golden Grove developers also agreed to arrange funding for the school's shared facilities with an agreement that the Education Department repay over a period of 10 years. This was designed to overcome traditional government budgeting procedures and allow the establishment of the campus early in the life of the Golden Grove development. I think particularly important is how the education of young people has become a, a focus of attention for this whole community. But not only the education of young people, but the way the community, parents, teachers and students have worked together to develop a total community focus at Golden Grove. Pooled funding resources and an integrated planning approach has resulted in an education complex that has attracted worldwide attention. In 1989, the OECD invited Delphin's project manager to address it on what is seen as a breakthrough in education facilities organization of international significance. In 1994, the joint OECD and UNESCO School Facilities Conference is being held in Adelaide and will focus on the Golden Grove schools as a model for discussion. The Golden Grove secondary schools 
provide education for 2,600 students between the ages of 13 to 18 years within three secondary schools. Golden Grove State High School, Gleason Catholic College, and Padere Anglican and Uniting Church College. Each of the three secondary schools enjoys its own individuality through discreetly separated buildings and some play and sports areas. I believe that churches have a special role to play in establishing alternative education for students. Here at Golden Grove, this unique approach to educational provision has enabled the Catholic Church to establish a secondary school in the Golden Grove area much earlier and at a better level of resources than it would have otherwise been able to do because of financial constraints. The three schools are located around a core of shared special facilities which provide a comprehensive library with online link up to each school, extensive technical and technological workshops, music and drama suites, computer and electronic training facilities, home economics and art classrooms, language laboratories and a major indoor recreation and arts facility. By the schools sharing all of these facilities and teacher resources, they can offer the best quality subject teachers and a broader range of subjects, such as Japanese and Spanish, which is taught to composite classes. As an independent school, it would have been much more difficult to provide our students with the range of facilities and opportunities so early in the life of our college. In fact, the secondary school's campus as a whole is able to offer 85 different subjects, compared to 35 available at an average standalone school. It's certainly been a great challenge to bring together state high schools and two private schools on the one campus. Schools with different philosophies, different cultures and different directions. But there have been rewards in all that, particularly in terms of the wonderful educational facilities we have gained and also in terms of the opportunities available for the many students. As well as a broad curriculum, the complex offers the latest education trends, offering state-of-the-art facilities and a variety of learning and teaching methods to this new fringe community. The complex also allows for maximum flexibility in the use of the shared facilities and special education for disabled persons. The multi-purpose recreation and arts centre provides three indoor sporting courts, drama and theatre facilities, not only for the schools, but for the broader community. A truly magnificent complex for the benefit of the Golden Grove community, for the benefit of the Tea Tree Gully city community, and for the benefit of all in this northern region. Importantly, these unique facilities, unequalled by any other new urban development in Australia, give the Golden Grove suburb a heart, an identity, and a strong community spirit. Yes, there's um, all ages around here and everybody seems to blend in very well. I just feel there were so many reasons for wanting to move to Golden Grove. And once we came here, well, I just found it so friendly. You know, it's really great. Yeah, the whole school campus at, uh, at Golden Grove gives them um, the kids a chance to use the shared facilities, the computer facilities and the, and, uh, the, li the library. And what I think is really great is that we've got a choice of private or state schools there. Through this shared approach, efficiencies in providing infrastructure, reduced land requirements and sharing of staff resources saved the state government about $40 million compared to the traditional provision of separate facilities. This cooperative planning and sharing has now been extended. Four smaller scale schools for students aged four to 12 years are comprised of a government and non-government school and community facilities. The state government, Tea Tree Gully Council, Catholic Education System, Anglican Church, Uniting Church and developers can feel proud of what has been achieved. But most importantly, the Golden Grove community can feel that through unique cooperation, they are participating in an exceptional education, recreation and arts system which is available for their children and to the community as a whole, and which is a model which will be copied worldwide. I think it's good because we have a lot of facilities at Padere, 
and uh, because of the shared facilities, we are able to um, share it with the other schools and uh, have better facilities than if we were just a single school. Golden Grove is actually a lot smaller than the school I went to before, but I think it's also friendlier, um, nicer environment. You know, all the colours are nice and the buildings are sort of modern and new and lots of trees and grass and stuff, so... Well, the shared facilities is good because while it allows all the schools to be independent of each other, they're still recognised as a shared campus. Everyone can get together and use the same facilities. You don't have to have facilities for each school. Um, it saves money buying everything for them because we share, like, computers and art room, um, tech studies, which is expensive facilities to buy. So we can just have all one thing like that. But even catching buses and stuff, we mingle with Golden Grove and Paday, which is really good, so we all tend to get along quite well. I think we're lucky to be able to get to use all of these because uh, it's a fairly good opportunity um, and also it carries a good name with it in the community. Mm -hmm.